What's wrong with the majority of the WordPress themes out there? As you can see, WordPress should be your go-to website creation tool. Four videos on, and we have only good things to say about it. Really, which other content management system out there should be more deserving of your attention than the most popular one? Not only because of WordPress itself, but also because of the amazing support that it has gotten from a loving community of developers and all-around WordPress lovers. Don't take our word for it. Just sit down and start using it. But wait, there are indeed some words of warning about WordPress, specifically about WordPress themes. Because as much praise as it gets, there's always room for growth and stuff to improve, even for something as nice and lauded as WordPress. So in this video, we are going to talk a bit about what is wrong with most WordPress themes out there, and about the things that need more attention in order to be improved upon. The free themes versus paid themes divide. It is no secret that you don't always get real value for free. And you could argue that WordPress themes can be an exception. But we would like to point out a few reasons why free themes won't cut it for most people at some point. Yes, there are a nice number of free WordPress themes available in the WordPress themes directory. Almost 1,500 to this date. And that number grows from 20 to 30 new free themes a month. But are such numbers important? Think about it. If you start a website... How many themes do you think you will have to try before you realize that you will need better alternatives if you plan to grow? One of the main critiques that free WordPress themes get is quality, as most of them end up feeling generic when compared to their paid counterparts. Also, they are not getting the same love that paid themes get, as most free themes get forgotten by the developers, which means no more updates. This leaves you with a series of themes that will likewise leave you with a site that is less safe and less functional as time goes by. And this will force you to install a new theme and to customize it like you did with the first theme. Paid themes have their own limitations too. Paid templates are much more secure and feature-rich than free themes. But they carry their own set of limitations. And you have most developers to blame for this. Why? Because many developers rush their products in order to compete and get a significant share of an already convoluted market. One of the most common disadvantages of paid themes is that they are filled with too many features. This might sound good, until you realize that these features are stuffed on these themes for the sake of boasting about the number of features to buyers. But having too many features in a disorganized way can be disorienting to users. Another disadvantage is a lack of documentation by developers, which makes it difficult for users to unleash the full potential of their websites. What can you do then? Is there an alternative? Luckily, there is an amazing alternative to using those WordPress themes available on the WordPress themes directory, and we are going to unveil it in our following video.